Hi hi tankers and welcome back. Right. Um well the tanks have been doing this thing on Twitter called Glorious Defeat. Basically you just need to post up your best defeat picture with the hashtag Glorious Defeat. And this was the game I used the result screen from this game to post a picture. That was my entry. So this game, I'm out in the M4 Derby Lure. This is one of my total favourite games and uh, games, tanks, in the whole game. It is a lot of fun. Why don't you get used to the howitzer? How it works, shell speed and aiming, it becomes pretty useful. But not if you aim at rocks. Right, so here's my first proper victim, a Panzer IV. That pent and that was pretty good roll. Left him on the sliver of health. I do find if you're going to kill a tank in one shot, you do low roll. Maybe it's some sort of game mechanic they have in there to stop people getting completely obliterated with the first shot. It's only fair, I suppose. Um, not fair on me. Right, a cheeky little crusader there got a shot into me, and we'll see him in a bit. And four penetrated, and again, a good enough roll, but not good enough to kill him. And again, you pretty much don't seem to get the high rolls if you're going to one-shot someone. But anyway, that's two penetrating shots so already, which is tidy. Well, this guy should be able to pen him, but he's got nicely angled armour, and there's not much space between the tracks. And this thing's not accurate enough to aim between the tracks, so you just have to fire and hope. And round two goes in and finishes him off. For my first kill of the game. Target fire. Target Cyber M4. Just clipped this front plate there. I didn't lead that enough. But it's still a good, good shot, good hit, and I've got another opportunity to hit him again now. Boom! Hit his ammo rack. Didn't penetrate though. So I'm gonna have to fire a third shot into this. Right, so that's kill number two. This game's looking pretty good. Right, here's that Crusader, that cheeky Crusader I was on about. He's not there anymore. That was a decent roll for kill number three. So this game is going really, really well so far. Right, so now I'm facing up against a couple of players who are being a little bit more cautious. And there's another guy with M4 Dirk on the enemy's team there. And this is one of the things I was saying about the difference between Xbox 360 and Xbox One. If I was taking that shot on the 360, there would have been a definitive line that I could see past and know exactly when I could fire over. But on the Xbox One, there's so much more grass and foliage, the sort of lie of the land is covered slightly by the foliage, so you have to rely on looking at the tank's shadow and working out where that line actually is. Right, here's a bit of a tougher target, an AT2. I'm not going to pen this guy. I'm going to have to hit him multiple times. Target fire. Target Here we go, I one up. Aiming for the flattest part possible. And there we go. That is a zero damage HE hit. I must have hit him on a part of his tank, which was so well armoured, my high explosive shell did zero damage. Anyway, right, the game's starting to go a bit bad right now. We're down on numbers. The guys they have left are playing a little bit more cautiously. I'm trying to play cautious myself now because I'm realising that the team is melting. Oh, no, I know this sounds really bad, but the only chance of us winning is if I carry the game. got binos fitted on this, the view range is pretty poor, so I've got binos fitted and I'm hoping the binos can spot some targets and the artillery actually do some work, I'm not holding that many folks here. Right, so that 82, I've hit him enough times to leave him low enough to finish him off for that kill number 4. Happy days. So the rest of the team have managed. Oh, is it one, two, three, four? Five kills between the rest of them. 
So they're now totem scrubs. This is where the game starts to go bad for me. My accuracy has let me down. I'm having to overextend now to get targets. I'm not hitting the shots I should be. This, at this point of this game, for me to carry this game, I should have thought about relocating. My shots just aren't working now. Got my bino set up. I'm trying to keep the bino going just to keep my maximum view range. There we go, we hit that stug. Back off. Ah, one of the team actually hits him. If you look at the map, there's two of our tanks that are left. They're sat on the railway tracks behind me pretty much. No help whatsoever, really. Is that M4? It's pushing up. I don't want to take a hit. Don't want to take a hit. Backing off. So all of the enemies that are left are completely aware of where I am. I've overstayed my welcome here. And it is going to cost me. Right, this is a mistake as well. The enemy's team have two tank destroyers left, but haven't been spotted pretty much the whole game. So it's obvious where they are. They're in a position I use in tank destroyers quite a lot. They're over in the uh, sort of H1 area. Exactly where I would be in a, one of those French tank destroyers tier 5. They're pretty good. Pretty good view range as well. That's exactly where I would be. So I'm trying to use that rock there. To mask their view of me while I try and get some shots on these guys. Oh, shot gone. Oh, and I take a hit. See, oh, yeah, I overextended again. I should have relocated. I've got no support really. Right, so I'm out of view range, I'm out of view range. Dregs of my health now, the next shot will kill me. So I'm now trying to spot them. If they're in concealment, even though I have binoculars, I'd probably they'd probably have to fire for me to spot them. the numbers back now. On my fifth kill. Look, team clean up another one. So there's, there's two pesky tank destroyers left and an artillery. Oh no, we've just lost a guy. They've obviously relocated and they've got some view range and I'll get finished off. Now we're left with, oh no, I was going to say a stug and an artillery left. But one of their guys must have relocated, which is exactly what I should have done. And got some view range for the team. So now my hopes are pinned on this guy in the stug. He's a one shot, I'm really, really not expecting him to be able to do anything. So he spots the target, bounces a shot. So I'm finishing them off. There we go guys, that's the sort of games I've been having lately. I've been doing my best for the team. I'm trying to get as much damage done as I could. There we go, two and a half thousand damage. It's not enough in a tier five game. Picked up a high caliber award, so I got my full experience for that game, which is nice, and I picked up the Mastery Ace Tanker. I've already got this one but it's always nice to get it again. So there we go guys, over 1800 base experience, 2500 damage and 5 kills is not enough to carry a tier 5 game. 
and I got more than a thousand experience more than the top player on the winning enemy team and I still can't get a win and that's pretty much me down to a T. Right there we go guys hope you enjoyed that M4 Derp 8 Tanker Replay. Cheers guys see you later.